Welcome back to my home and so tonight is just an impromptu video I came home I was all excited I have seen the big trend of the bubble up and bake recipes and I, I was I was doing it tonight I was doing it I even bought meatballs I thought I'm not gonna make them I'll just buy them I had them in my freezer from BJ's from a few weeks ago I was ready for this meal it was one problem I didn't have any biscuits. I thought I had biscuits. I always have biscuits. I had no biscuits. Oh, what's a girl to do? So I had chopped meat taken out that I was going to use for stuffed pepper soup. And so, yeah, I'm going to use that. Then I was like, what am I, what can I do with this? Well, I have crescent rolls. So I was going to do like a taco bake, maybe. This is my own recipe. I don't know what I'm doing. Another problem, I have no taco seasoning. So time out for a minute. What do you do when you don't have the ingredients you need? I was told, I wasn't told, I actually read it on a sign. A messy kitchen is a sign of a creative mind. So I have my dehydrator going. I have <clears throat> apples in here right now that you can see. And you can see in my lovely little Ziploc bag, I have dried apples. I have been drying apples and oranges for two weeks now, and I have about six full bags and probably six more to go. I dehydrated uh, last week my mushroom powder, which I'm going to be using in my recipe tonight. And then I dehydrated some more mushrooms because my husband loved the idea. So got that going. But now I'm trying to make dinner and I don't have what I need. And I was like, ah, so I said, okay, a good woman knows how to run her home, whether it's for herself or her family. And right now I need to make dinner. So I had one sad looking pepper. My husband said, well, we have a half a pepper we could use. I said, but that pepper still has some life in it. This other one was looking kind of sad. So what I've done is I've just sauteed that in my frying pan. I'm going to add some ground beef to that. I'm going to then, I don't have taco seasoning. I know I can make it, I don't have time for that. I have no patience. Worked all day, I'm done. But I have some chili seasoning. So I can sprinkle a little bit of that in there. What else do I have? I have my mushroom powder. So I can add just a little bit of mushroom powder and some salt and pepper, and that should give it some added flavor. Then I have some French dip, dip for like chips but that's sour cream and it has onions in it. So I could do it like a beef stroganoff type of flavor to it. And I have Bisto, which would add a little thickness to it and a little brown gravy taste. So we're combining all this in a skillet. And then I'm going to put it in, if you ever saw my sausage casserole bake, I'm gonna do it the same way. Line the base of my casserole dish with one roll of the crescent rolls put the next layer of the meat. I have a Mexican cheese blend. I'm gonna put that on top of the meat. Then I'm gonna put the crescent rolls on top of that. We're gonna call it a day. Then I did some green beans that I had bought at, I think I got these at BJ's. I think so. I don't remember, maybe it was Costco's. I don't even know if I told you about this, but I bought a two pound bag of green beans and I wanted to try a recipe, fresh green beans I never like. I like canned green beans, but I wanted to start, you know, changing things up a little. So I put them in the Instant Pot with some garlic, a little butter, and some soy sauce for seven minutes for two pounds. So delicious. Wow, so, they were good. Well, they were good, right? Oh, they were. So I've got leftover green beans we're going to use up. And then we did take out the other night. Yes, we did take out. We spent money outside the house. And I have a salad we never even used. So we're gonna have a side salad with the green beans. And we have peppers and mushrooms and onions in our recipe, plus the protein, the chopped meat, and the cheese. 
And then my husband and I were saying, just wanted something extra. It's like a carb night, you know, it's, it got really cold tonight. It's Friday night. We're both pooped from the week. We just want a home cooked, you know, comfort meal. So I have some mashed potatoes and mashed carrots. You can see that's a mix in the freezer. I'm going to, and my son won't eat that. So that's fine. That's big enough for me and my husband. I'm going to put that in the microwave, defrost that, mix that up with a little milk, maybe a little sour cream, make it a little bit richer. We're going to have that on the side. So there we go. So that's all I got for you. It's a homemade a la carte, throw together whatever's in the fridge, freezer, and pantry meal. We're going to put it together. We're going to call it a taco bake, even though it's not taco seasoning. It's chili seasoning. But we're going to call it taco bake a la Lynn. How about that? Just to show you, grab whatever you have. Throw it together. It always works, especially if you have biscuits or crescent rolls or something like that. You can make it into a casserole. So... I'm going to just let the camera roll, let the music roll. You can see what I make, and then I'll show you at the end what it came out like.
time for dinner. Who's ready? Who's hungry? All right, here is what we're calling the taco bake. So I'm gonna get my sons ready first. And you can see the crescent roll. You know, you can see some of the lines. I pinched it the best I could. It was, I don't know if it's hot in the kitchen, but it was kind of sticky, the crescent. So that's okay. This is not a five-star restaurant. This is Mama's Kitchen. All right, let's scoop some of this up. Look at that deliciousness. Can wow. you see that? Ooh, oh, yeah. boy. Okay, so we're, gonna we're calling this our taco bake. It looks delicious. You can see it's golden brown on the top. You can actually rub some butter on that if you wanted to. I'm going to pass on that. So I have my nice taco bake here. We're going to add a little bit of green beans, get my son's meal ready, and then a little bit of potatoes and carrots. Even though he doesn't like it, we're going to do it anyway. There you go, guys. How delicious does that look? Wow, that looks good. Thanks for coming over tonight. I hope you enjoy this. There really is no recipe, but if you need some help putting something like this together, just leave me a comment and I'll tell you what I did. See you next time.